Not, we're not starting off quite as warm as we no, did yesterday. No, yeah, not as wonderfully mild as yesterday at this time. Temperature right now here in the Des Moines Metro at 518. It's 41. Yesterday at this point, we were right in those mid 50s. So you do have to, you know, layer up a little bit more outside here early today, but still not bad by November standards. We're a little bit cooler because we had this front that's way to our south now. That was moving through the state yesterday at this time. Once it cleared on through, now allows us to cool down a little bit more efficiently during the overnight hours. Eventually that front's going to lift back north here today into tomorrow and that'll bring us uh, oh, some of us some warm air again and then a little bit of a chance of rain here too. Main thing today is that we're going to have a few more clouds in our skies as we go towards uh, this morning and into this afternoon, especially southern Iowa late this afternoon ahead of this front advancing back in. You're going to get some low level clouds here before the sun goes down. Notice late tonight we do have a little bit of a possibility of some showers. Not going to be widespread, not going to be heavy, maybe more likely to be some drizzle or some sprinkles. There's still a lot of dry air mixed in here too, so we're probably not going to see very much rain. And for most of us, it's going to happen while you're asleep. By tomorrow morning, it's done if it, you get any of these scattered body showers. And then we're cooling back down as this weak low pressure zone passes to our east. Winds shift to the north and west and our temperatures start to drop. But we're still going to probably get into the 60s today, 60s tomorrow, and then by Thursday, a little cool northwesterly breeze, occasionally gusting up towards 25 miles per hour, will drop us back down towards the 50s, which will be a little bit more typical of this time of the year for later on this week. Why are we so dry right now? Because our weather pattern is just not favorable at this point. We're taking up to the high levels of the atmosphere here. The white arrows, that's the jet stream. It's what's called zonal flow right now, pretty much straight west to east. If you don't have any powerful weather system, moving along that jet stream, they can't draw moisture up from the south. You see that green color here? There's some moisture as we head towards tonight and tomorrow, but we don't have a powerful weather system to really use that moisture and get us any kind of real rainfall. And then we get really dry. You see those arid sort of brown colors here later this week into Saturday, even when we have a weather system move our way Saturday. Again, we have no moisture to work with. And then by next week, look at this jet streams way to our north and way to our west. So we don't really have any pattern to carry any weather systems towards us. But this sort of setup next week is a quite a warm one. By next week around this time, hey, we're going to be right back into some more 60s, even though we'll be heading deeper on into mid November by then. So 60s next couple days, maybe a couple rain showers tonight and tomorrow. They should be pretty light and spotty, and then we'll cool back into the 50s as we head towards the weekend.